Alrighty guys, today we have one that's a little bit different, as we've got in a package in the mail. Now, this is something, uh, obviously I know what's in the box, but do you know what's in the box? What's in the box? Um, this is something I've never had before. This is something that I think is uh, almost mandatory in today's world of MMO gaming. And it's something that I knew that as soon as I started making content for World of Warcraft, it was something I was going to need to pick up as soon as possible. So I watched some videos, watched some comparisons, and I made a decision. This video is not sponsored, by the way. So uh, if this company wants to sponsor me in the future, that's perfectly fine. Let's take a look at what we got at our unboxing of what's in the box. <clears throat> Uh, typical Asmongold fashion, I don't have a way to open the box. Though, not in typical Asmongold fashion, I don't have a giant sword to do it with either. So, we're just going to have to manhandle it here. They, uh, they tape it up very well. Okay, Addison's going to get in the video too. Say hello, this is my daughter Addison here. And uh, she wants to see what's in the box. That's what's in the box! I like popping. Popping. Pop them. Pop them. Oh, oh, that's all of them. The middle one was a dud. <laughs> <laughs> You're a mess, girl. Let's put this down here. No. Ajax, yeah, Ajax will definitely be a, in that box in moments. In moments. So here's what we got here, guys. We got the Logitech G600 mouse. Now, normally... Um, you know, I had always been a fan of Razer products. I actually have a Razer mouse here. You can see that. And, um, but, you know, the more reports that I read on the Naga, a lot of people just said that it was failing in less than a year. So I didn't want to have to deal with that. Um, and honestly, the Logitech products in general, again, not sponsored, by the way, Logitech products in general, I've never had one fail when I was thinking about it. I actually have a Logitech mouse in the bin back there that I was using for pretty much everything. Um, and the only reason I switched to the smaller mouse here by Razer was because I was playing a lot of FPS games and I needed a significantly lighter mouse. The Logitech mouse I was using was way too heavy uh, for FPS games. Um, so here, let's take a look here and see what we got going on. Don't mind me just rip it into the box here, guys. It's not going to be your typical uh, unboxing video where it's all very nicely, neatly done here. This is, we're just getting in it because this box is of no use to me after I uh, have what I need out of it. Again, we have the Logitech G600 mouse. Um, one thing I really liked about it here, and I'll just, well, I'll just show you on the mouse itself, uh, was the way that the buttons are caved in. Uh, in the individual sections let's take a look what do we got a little sticker okay all right i'm probably not going to put that on anything but there it is and uh let's get our mouse out of here here you want the sticker okay it's your sticker now you can please the cats really easily with empty boxes and you can please the kids really easily with uh, a sticker oh so you feed this through this little hole here. Sorry guys if that sound is atrocious. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. So if you look here on the mouse, see if I can uh, get it up here. You can see where it is like caved in into two different little valleys here. So you can pretty easily tell uh, where your finger is resting and what you need. And I really like that. And then they also have the bars, uh, the little raised bars on the middle so that you can tell if you're on the middle rows or on the outside rows. I do like that. It looks like the scroll wheel has left and right buttons along with pressing down. I like that. And then the scroll wheel itself feels really good. Now, there was one thing about this mouse when I was reading the reviews about it that I wasn't really sure about, and I'm not gonna be sure until I use it a little while, uh, is this third button on the side. So it has your regular two mouse buttons, and it has a third button, a third mouse button 
on the far side. And a lot of people were saying they were clicking that on accident. So if I do find that to be the case, um, I may have to you know, disable that button, at least for World of Warcraft. But if I do not keep hitting it on accident, that'll be very handy for putting like a, uh, I feel like that'd be like a good spot to have like your your kick or something, a leg sweep if you're playing Monk. Um, something very easy to, to hit like that. I like it. This is the bottom of the mouse, if anybody cares, G600. The weight feels very nice. The, uh... Yeah, my fingers are pretty well positioned on all the side buttons here. I feel like I can hit all of them pretty easily. The top six will obviously be the ones that we hit the most. Um, the bottom six, they, re they require a little bit of a re repositioning of my palm, but nothing too crazy. There'll be buttons that uh, will have long cooldowns maybe. And then that's that. So coming from the Razer and going to the G600, pretty heavy mouse, um, heavier than I thought it would be. But I feel like that's perfectly fine for an MMO. You don't need to have a super light mouse here. I guess we can do the uh, the part that everybody loves here. Peel the plastic. Mm. See if we can get it all in one piece. Here, you can peel the bottom piece. Get it. Don't pull it fast. Get it right, right here, it's raised up. You gotta get it all one piece. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Good job, girl. All right, there it is, guys. That's all I have today. It was just a quick little one. Um, in the future, we will have another videos coming out. Uh, somebody did ask me about uh, making a video on how to get raid tier gear. Um, obviously, that mechanic's not added into the game yet. To be able to convert your regular gear into tier gear, that won't be out for a little while. Uh, so once that gets a little bit closer, we'll be making a video on that. And then I was thinking about making also a PvP video with the Demon Hunter coming up here soon as I am working on getting that guy all geared up. And also, um, there does seem to be a good amount of changes uh, that have been put into effect for Mythic Dungeons. And I assume we're going to see some class balance coming here soon too. So video on that. Awesome. Uh, hey, I'll see you guys later. Adios muchachos.